Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ms. Blanco. I teach fourth grade math. Guys, we have a lot to catch up on. Let's just get started. Number one, I apologize for not vlogging. I did get sick one weekend. It was like a 24 hour bug. And then there was a field trip on the 9th to NASA. Guys, it was amazing, beautiful. I loved it. I took lots of photos. I will post a couple. I'll just block out the kids' face. And then I have been working really hard on fraction. Tomorrow, guys, they take their first major test from me. I'm super nervous. I kind of like made it myself. So all of the questions I got from Lead Forward, it's a wonderful resource for teachers, especially if you live in Texas, <laughs> like myself, Houston, Texas. But basically they collect all of the star tests from like 2015 to 2023 and they put it based on teaks and then they kind of like you know put them all together so i was able to find all of the questions that had to do with fractions i put them together on a landscape google slide and then I printed it and then today during ancillary I actually took the test myself just to make sure there was nothing like super tricky with it but other than that the kids have been learning equivalent fractions simplifying fractions how to compare fractions both academically as well as on a number line they also know how to add fractions subtract fractions they know how to change a mixed fraction to an improper fraction as well as an improper to a mixed fraction they also know how to change an improper fraction to a decimal as well as a mixed fraction to a decimal so definitely it's been pretty much one month since i came here it's about like less than two days and i've just felt like the kids have learned a lot and it's we're finally ready for them to take a test let me see how much they have learned from moi i'm pretty nervous but i think the kids would do great i just need to make sure oh by the way life of a teacher tomorrow's picture day class picture day so that's going to be another not interruption but just something that the kids will have to do no luckily though normally picture day takes like 10 15 minutes max if like the people who you know deals with picture day goes smoothly so 10 15 minutes max i'm not worried about that i think we won't lose a lot of time plus my homeroom does get more time in the morning because obviously they're the first group and my second class always gets like the short end of the stick even though we try to balance them both but other than that nasa picture day tomorrow one month anniversary coming up the classroom has changed uh lots of things especially like my whiteboard back there i'll show you guys um as well as i think the last vlog i was kind of doing like the e-shape and i think it was like the day that i made it so i need to like show you guys how it's working um, i changed the bulletin board back a little couple things on my desk a little bit things on the bookshelf pretty much the only thing there have been a couple changes in the cabinet closet there not a lot but definitely looking a little bit more organized i'm so proud of myself but let me go ahead and just show you okay so first of all before i show you the classroom can we just acknowledge this gorgeous uh sweater guys i mean look at it that is precious so one of my kids so today is the 15th so yesterday was valentine's day i'll put a picture of all of the stuff that my kiddos gave to me i felt so loved like just a month into the school year and kids are bringing me stuff like oh, i just love it so i got this um in a bag and my kid my kid was like miss blanco have you opened your present yet i'm like no i'm sorry i'm so busy because like life of a teacher we're so busy and i'm like okay, okay just let me know when you open i was like okay i will and she also bought me um she also bought me strawberries with like chocolate covered i'll show you another picture it was i ate them during lunch it was delicious but and then so she stays for K's, which is the, our after school program. And I caught her because I stayed after school because I did something else outside. I'll show you guys. Oh, God. I'm so excited. 
and she's like miss blanco did you open it i was like no 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 i did it but you know what let me go ahead and grab it and i'll open it in front of you so i grabbed it and she's like yeah it's the one with all the hearts so i grabbed that one i opened it in front of her and it was this lovely let me show you beautiful you can't see it was this lovely beautiful sweater my size exactly guys i mean look at it oh my goodness it's so pretty so i'm super grateful for all of the gifts i got but definitely this was like a showstopper so let me go ahead and show you a whole classroom and the major major things that have been happening in miss blanco's fourth grade classroom so i honestly don't remember what this looked like but the bulletin board is all gone i put my fabric up and my border as you can see i put the stickers here the sticker store i have been giving lots of stickers lately i was able to use this a lot i can't get too close but i'm using this amazing lovely little thingy i'm trying not to show because it has mostly data oh by the way i was able to get another observation trying to block out names and i got all excellent so oh it just feels so great guys okay so let me show you so we have the bookshelf the bookshelf looks pretty okay the only thing i need to worry about is it's very dusty so anytime i put things on the top i like a lot of dust comes flying out so i need to give it a good clean and then i want to make this area a little bit more organized because right now i'm just kind of shoving odd things there but everything else looks pretty pretty organized i like the way this looks but i do have more of these bins so eventually when i clean out <laughs> this closet i'm gonna move these over there because these right now are like my most essential i have like mr sketch markers i have um this one is not really important but the other ones are i got my stickers i even got more stickers from amazon wishlist i have tape i have scissors and red pens i have highlighters and then here are like actually this one is really not important these are like for my library labels so not important as much as i would like but other than that everything looks pretty good here's the science i need to give out tomorrow maybe because they are taking their math test i always like to keep the teacher edition here my <laughs> my surface pro here i use this to do our daily review pencil system has been growing great the kids absolutely know what to do been using the dog cam a lot i actually put this cute one of my little trays and i use my markers here and then on the inside that's what that looks like so just a little all right so again we just have a couple of things on our bulletin board i want to put my name up here just i'm just trying to find a time to do things slowly but surely here we have um, this one is more for markers and our dry erase board. So we have our new dry erase boards. They are magnetic, so the kids love to stick them on, on the side of the desk. We have extra markers as well as here. And something that I do is I like to collect the caps <laughs> because you guys just never know when you need a cap for a marker. This one, it's empty, but I'm trying to figure out what to put here. This one is more like the sanitation station. So we got tissues. I got a whole box of tissues from my Amazon wish list. This is what we were using for tissues. So, you know, now we're just trying to use it up. Markers that the old teacher had and then hand sanitizer, but there is no more. So I need to buy some or I guess I'll put it on my Amazon wish list as well. Here is the test for tomorrow. So like I said, all of these questions have been on star. So all of these have been on star. And I think that will help them understand what star is going to look like in terms of the fraction like skill. Everything else looks pretty good. This is like pick my kid information that I need to give out to the students. Oh, and uh, <laughs> life of a teacher. 
one of the students' desk broke in like the middle of the day. Luckily, they were not hurt because this is like pretty jagged. Somebody could definitely cut themselves. So I took it away. I put it in the corner and then the custodian is going to take it out in the morning. And then we have our extra copies. Extra copies is going great. The only thing is I need to make extra copies of our division chart because I did tell the students that they are able to use their fraction strips, the one that we did like the first week that I was here, as well as their division chart and pretty much anything that they need to be successful. So I'm gonna open this up. Oh goodness. Okay, this one needs a little, a little bit so I can uh, show you the closet. So it's still looking wonky. <laughs> I just definitely need to find a time to stay after school and organize this. But you can see, I can you can kind of tell that I've been trying to like, you know, organize these. These are the old ones from the previous teacher. And as you can see, a lot of the kids are just poking holes into them and drawing on them like it's paper. So I, when I got those new ones, I like really strictly told them, do not poke holes in them, do not draw on them. And I'm checking, not every day, but I told them I'm gonna be checking every so often to make sure. And I already found one hole in it and I got on them and they were kind of like, oh my God. <laughs> so guys, I'm being really strict about like the magnetic erasers cause those cost money and I want them to treat them like with good care. So as you can see, everything else looks pretty much the same. <laughs> I just got to take care of my uh, my sweaters I need to take home. But other than that, that's what it looks like. The board is actually the most changed thing. We have our clock. We have our date. We have our agenda. I change it every morning or at the end of each day. So before I leave, if I have time, I'll change it to Friday's agenda. Um, it did say divisors, but somebody took it away. I do have, I do have now three of these. So I got two from my Amazon wish list. So this one I'm holding to put the smelly stickers. And then what I did is the other stickers, the pun stickers, I actually put them on, I actually punched a hole in each of them and then put a binder ring. And then I put a magnetic hook. These I got off of Amazon. I've used them for two years now. So if I say you can get a sticker from either the sticker store or from any of this, this is what I mean. So, so I got two of these, so these are mine now. So no touching. This one I was going to read to the kids on Friday before we went to NASA, but there was just no time. There's a situation in the cafeteria that we had to deal with. So I'm just gonna say like available to rent, please see Ms. Blanco to check out. <laughs> so that way the kids can read it too. But you know, it is Black History Month, February. And then we did go to NASA. So I wanted to incorporate some books, even in mathematics. And plus these women are known to you know, uh, these women are known because of their mathematics skills. All right, everything else, we have our objective. So that was the last thing that we learned, how to change, mix, and improper fraction. Everything else is more like agendas and our calendar. This, we have not used. I just kind of <laughs> have it shoved here. So I'm gonna get rid of it one day. But guys, the biggest change. Are you ready for this? <laughs> like Taylor Swift? Okay, so we have a cord, bunch of tape, and bam. Guys, look at this, look at this. Isn't this just so pretty? I already went through it with Miss, um, with my principal, and she said that, I mean, she didn't say anything, but she didn't say take it off. <laughs> so I can change the colors on my phone so every day can be a new theme a new celebration a new color scheme whatever i just have to be careful not to make them flash very fast just because some students may have epilepsy that is unknown to them or to the parents because my sister actually she doesn't have ep epilepsy but she does get some form of seizures so i just want to be careful with you know accidentally causing 
seizures in students that's like the last thing i want and i try to be very careful not to like touch the paper more like the metal and so at the end of each day i'm going to unplug it because i don't want you know hr or anybody else to be like oh why is there like electricity being drawn like at 7 p.m at night and it's like oops miss blanco left her lights on so i'm definitely going to unplug it i'm actually going to plug it right now so i don't forget and so now they're officially off so guys it is time for me to go this is again what my classroom looks like with my broken <laughs> the broken desk I think it's looking fantastic. Ooh, so in the morning, oh, by the way, this is like pretty much my show love display. So anytime the kids give me a sticker or any kind of artsy, crafty thing, I like to put it on the side of my cabinet. So we have this side and then the other side is pretty much empty. So I'll continue once this side is done. Here I have just one student who unfortunately just needs to be alone by himself he's very distractive very talkative to students around him so he was you know with the e by the way the e is going great i like this i like this one more because it's a little bit closer up to this to, to me and here when i when i'm sitting here i can't really see like all of the students in this section but other than that i like my ease i like the way that I can come up here and form like my own little group same thing for here and I like the way the chairs are set up so like one here one here and then let me back up like one here this two are supposed to be back a little bit and then one here so other than that um, we're good to go here's the iPad cart I just used it because today they actually played uh, what's it called look at no not look at no, it is look it um because i tried to do um bottle no double no <laughs> what's it called it's called um bottle bottle okay so i tried to do bottle but unfortunately their ipads i cannot download the app i thought you could play it like on a website like with an ipad safari but no so today i was like you know what what's that website that I know the kids really, really like. And so I remembered that it was um, Blue Kit. Blue Kit. <laughs> and we played it and the kids loved it. First we did the, what's it called? Like the chasing one. And then this one was Battle Royale. They kind of liked it, but they weren't, you know, super excited about it. Not like the chasing one. Other than that, we are good to go. Everything I like looks organized here. And then when you get to the closet, it's like, oh my God, what the heck? So in the morning, I'm going to fill in more stickers. I'm going to move the desk into rows because they have their test in the morning and pretty much all day. And then I'm also going to bring in my privacy boards that I have at home. And that will be it for the day. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I know that there has not been a video for like two weeks now. And I apologize. Sometimes I just get so busy that I just I want to get stuff done and I don't really want to vlog. So I do apologize for that. Um, I'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated. But when I have this sweater and when I have my classroom looking more like my classroom, it makes me just feel like, you know, like it just makes me feel like I'm in the groove again. Uh, I'm still catching up a little bit because there are some things in terms of data, like in terms of Google Classroom, in terms of like things that are usually set up at the beginning of the year. I'm kind of like trying to like, oh shoot, I got to catch up on that. By the way, I just remembered my um, my testing security for Telpass is due tomorrow and I have not done it. I would have done it sooner, but I was deactivated because I left the school. So the district coordinator had to reactivate me and i was finally able to log on but then i had to wait two days for like the activation to fully activate <laughs> i know <laughs> silly right so now i can officially take it it's just you know it's just i had to wait till the last minute to finally get things rolling so that is just one issue that i am getting myself into is that things that 
were available to me were blocked or were taken away and so i have to like reactivate or reset it up or re you know just redo things um but other than that everything else is still the same same ancillary um we have it in the afternoon now so we did change it from nine to two which i love it's so much more better it's so much better um but it did have to like we had to change our schedule we had to like shift how much time each class got so definitely just trying to work out all of the changes and you know trying to feel back in because i don't feel like i'm 100 percent like back do you guys know what i mean like i'm back but i think because i have to like do things that were already done at the beginning of the school year i feel like i'm catching up like i'm swimming like i'm under i'm swimming against a current but the kids are still learning i'm still teaching it'll be okay grades you guys saw me put in we we are doing things class we are do i'm saying class we are doing things guys all right i will see you guys in the next vlog which will definitely not be in two weeks it will definitely be next week so i'll see you guys later bye